The Jacksonville Suns and Mobile Bay Bears gearing up for a lot of baseball on this Saturday. Welcome to Suns Today. Breaking ball swung on, lifted high and deep to left field. Davis moving back to the warning track, to the wall, to the palm trees. Now the kick and pitch, 2-0, grounded up the third baseline. Backhanded dive and stopped by Anderson. He throws across to first in time. What a play, Brian Anderson down the third baseline. Swing and a line drive into right field for a base hit, and the Suns will win. Peter Mooney scores. It's an RBI walk-off single by JT Riddle. Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover alongside Marco Anave. Glad to welcome you back to the baseball grounds of Jacksonville. The Suns and the Bay Bears, Mother Nature, Marco, has certainly wreaked havoc on this series to this point. The postponement on Thursday, and then last night, we got until the bottom of the third inning with the Suns leading 5-1, to one, and then Mother Nature once again came to the ballpark. Well, it wasn't before the Suns opened with a five-run bottom of the first inning, and they will retain that 5-1 lead as we continue play in the bottom of the third inning this evening, and then following the completion of the game, we'll have a seven-inning game to follow. And also, a lot of action around the Southern League last night, so let's take a look at the score. Board. Elsewhere in the Southern League on Friday night, completed games, Mississippi shut out Biloxi 10 to nothing. Sean Newcomb picked up the win to improve to 8 and 7, and the Braves now lead the South Division by a game and a half in the second half over Pensacola. Biloxi with the loss now in a position that it has to win each of the remaining games for playoff chance. Chattanooga defeated Jackson 5 to nothing. The Lookouts keeping their playoff hopes alive. Pensacola topped Birmingham 7 to 6 and it was Montgomery taking down Tennessee 10 to 5. The Biscuits go into the final 3 games of the year, two and a half games up on Jackson and three up on Chattanooga in the North Division second half. The Lookouts though only a game back in the overall standings should Jackson rally and win the second half. Now the Suns and Bay Bears on Saturday get ready to complete their series opener. And so the Suns have a 5-1 lead in the bottom of the third inning, but obviously the starting pitchers from last night will not continue into tonight's ball game. So we do have different pitchers on the mound to resume play. First of all, we'll see Cole Johnson on the mound when the Bay Bears hit the field in the bottom of the third inning with the Suns at the plate. Johnson, a right-hander, he'll be opposed by Chris Mazza, who will come in this game in relief. Mazza looking to finish his 2016 season on a high note. Sitting game two, we'll see the Marlins number five prospect Luis Castillo on the mound for the Jacksonville Suns and he'll be opposed by Bay Bears right-hander Taylor Clark. Well, it's going to be a fun night here at the baseball grounds of Jacksonville, and all week long we were talking about this mystery giveaway, but Marco, it's a mystery no more. Well, now you have it in your hands, folks, and that is courtesy of the final giveaway of the season presented by Community First Credit Union. So a big thank you to CFCU on Community First Credit Union night. Also a big thank you to Budweiser, which is presenting the final military appreciation night of the season. Glad to see all the military families here in attendance. Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun again. We have a lot of baseball coming up. Up and many chances for you to share your experience with us on social media. You can like the Jacksonville Suns on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, at Suns Baseball, tag us with your photos and feedback about tonight's doubleheader. Should be a lot of fun. The Suns and the Bay Bears playing two games. Again, we'll pick up the first game of the series in the bottom of the third with the Jacksonville Suns leading the Bay Bears 5-1. to one. Play this game to its full nine innings, then a seven-inning game will follow here at the baseball grounds. If you're at the ballpark, just sit back and relax. We've got baseball, plenty of it coming up. And also, if you're watching this online, on the Suns YouTube channel. Just head on over to jacksons.com. There you can listen to the game through the Suns Baseball Network and watch on MILB.TV. With Marco Lanave, I'm Roger Hoover. Thanks for watching Suns Today.